Hey guys, in this video we are introducing the concept of factorial. The best way to understand what a factorial is, is through an example. Let's say we have three people, A, B, and C, and we are asked to arrange them in a straight line. And also, we need to find the total number of arrangements or different possibilities of A, B, and C. We can start off with A, standing right at the beginning of the line, and if A is standing at the beginning, it can be arranged with B in the second position or C in the second position. And if A, B are standing at the first two positions, that only leaves us with C standing in the third position. And if A, C are the first two positions of the line, then that leaves us with B in the third position. However, these are not the only possibilities. We can have B standing at the beginning of the line which can be further paired with A in the second position or C in the second position. If B, A are the first two positions of the line, that leaves us with C in the third position. And if B, C are the first two positions of the line, that leaves us with A in the third position. Once again, these are not the only possibilities. Let's say we keep C at the beginning of the line. C can be paired with A in the second position or B in the second position. If C, A are the first two positions, that leaves us with B in the third position. And for the last case, we can have A. If you count the number of possibilities of arranging three different people, you will see that there are six ways of arranging six pe uh, three people or three objects, you can even say. Let's look at it a different way. We have three possibilities for the first position. We can either put an A, a B, or a C. Once we have selected someone for the first position, we are left with two possibilities for the second position. So like if we choose A, we are left with B and C for the second position. If we choose B, we are left with A, C as the second position. Or if we select C, we are left with A or B in the third uh, second position. And then, for the last position, once we have chosen someone for the first two positions, we are left with one possibility. As you can see, if we choose A, B, we are left with the C. If we choose A, C, we are left with the B. Multiplying 3 into 2 into 1 gives you 6. And this is where the concept of a factorial comes in. 3 factorial can be written as 3 into 2 into 1, which is essentially arranging three objects, A, B, C, in three factorial ways, three into two into one, which gives you six. And as we have found here, there are six ways of arranging three people. Let's take another example. Let's say now we have five different people, A, B, C, D, E. Rather than calculating all possibilities and writing them all down, why can't we just simply say A, B, C, D, E can be arranged in five factorial ways, which is five into four into three into two into one, which gives you 120 ways of arranging five objects or five different people. Now let's look at the formal definition of a factorial. A factorial is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So basically, as I'm writing over here, n factorial is a positive integer. It is, is, it is the product of all the positive integers less than or equal to n all the way down to 1. This is the general representation of a factorial. And another definition for a factorial is that it represents the number of ways that n different objects can be arranged. It is very important to realize that the objects you are arranging need to all be different. They need to be distinct. So now we know from the previous example, if we needed to arrange three different objects, we can simply find it through three factorial ways, which is three into two into one. If we need to arrange four different objects, it will be done through four into three into two into one. And likewise, 
5 factorial can be found by multiplying 5 all the way down to 1. However, the real question is, what is the answer to 0 factorial? Many of you would think that the answer to 0 factorial is simply 0. This is incorrect. Think of it this way. 0 factorial means you are arranging 0 objects, which basically means there is nothing that you have that needs to be rearranged. There is only one there is only one way of arranging nothing. And therefore, the answer to 0 factorial is simply 1. So to conclude, a factorial represents the product of all the positive integers from n all the way down to 1. It also represents a number of ways that n different objects can be rearranged. And 0 factorial does not give you a 0. In fact, 0 factorial is equal to 1 because there is only one way of arranging no objects. Thank you.